Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve various Apex Legends error codes on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in Control Panel, best result, should come back with Control Panel. So go ahead and open that up. Say your view by two large icons, and then you want to go down and select Programs and Features. Locate anything that says Visual C++ in here and select the Change button. Select Repair and then Yes. And you can do that for all Visual C++ entries in here. And it's going to ask us to restart. I'm going to go hold off on that for a minute and I'm going to do the same thing with the other Visual C++ entry just so we can be very efficient with our time, I would say. And then once you've done that for both, go ahead and just close out of here and then restart your computer. And now that that's done, go ahead and open up the search menu, type in CMD, best result, check them back with command prompt, go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in ipconfig, followed by a space, forward slash, flush DNS, flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front, hit enter. Should come back with Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to go ahead and type in NETSH space WinSock, W I N S O C K, space reset. Once again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. You want to proceed to close out of here and then restart your computer. And hopefully at this point, if you attempt to launch Apex Legends, you should be good to go. You can also attempt to reinstall the game. That's another potential option you may want to explore. And hopefully that should be able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.